guys this is a requested video and i was asked to make a unique side table that would fit a glam sunroom so i decided to search pinterest to know how much glam can be put in a sunroom i've always loved this unique side table and then i remembered a lot of diys i've seen on how towels are turned into flower pots so I decided to just make the same thing but this time turning it into a side table suitable for a sunroom. I'll be starting off with this large towel that I got from Walmart. And I'm cutting off the part that I won't be needing. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Put some cement in a bucket and took the towel that I will be using and soaked it in water and squeezed out the water. I'll be making a hole right here. This is going to be a hole that I'm going to make in the middle of the towel just in case it's going to be used as a flower pot in the future. I kept that aside and now because I'm making this DIY indoors I prepped the area that I'm going to use. I'm going to take the paint bucket that I have and turn it upside down and put it in the middle. You can use any cement of your choice but this is the one that I used and then I'm mixing it with water and then putting the towel inside. I'm going to soak the towel completely into the cement. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to place it on top of the bucket. I squeezed out a lot of the water just so it doesn't drip on the floor. So now that I have it positioned on the bucket and using that hole as a guide for it to stay in the middle, I'm going to pour the remaining cement that I have in the bucket all over the towel. After four hours, this is what it looks like. It's not completely dry yet, but it's getting hard really fast. So I took out the bucket and all I'm doing now is trying to cut out the shape of the legs to look the way I want them to before it gets rock hard. I'm okay with the way it looks now, so I took it out to dry for another three hours. After it's dry, you can use either Mod Podge or school glue. I use school glue, but it's all the same thing because this will stop the cement residues that are likely to make a mess to stay in place. And this is also going to add an extra shine to it. When I was done with this, I let it dry for an hour and then I spray painted it gold. For the pattern that I'll be making on this table, I'll be needing a semi-circle. So I drew a semi-circle on a small piece of paper and cut out the shape. I was going to use tape to hold this to be on the table but that didn't work out so well so I had to put glue on both sides of the tape before it was able to stay in place. So now I'm going to be using mirror mosaic tiles and the link for this is going to be in the description box below but they do have something similar to this in the Dollar Tree so you can get yours from there as well. I cut them into singular strips and now I'm going to be attaching it to the table. I will be using the paper that I have there as my guide.
Now that that's in place, the next embellishments will be large gems that I got from Walmart. And I'm gonna have this in a line above the mirror mosaic tiles. And after this, I'm gonna have another mirror mosaic tile strip on top of it. And after this, I'm gonna have gems. And on top of the gems, the mirror mosaic tiles and it goes on and on. With the same pattern till I get to the end. I'll be using that same paper from before to attach it close to the first design so that I can repeat the same thing but using smaller gems. I continued with this pattern until I had some of it with smaller gems and then some of it with the large gems. I continued this way just to give it some contrast. So because we have the large gems on the right, what I'll be using now will be smaller gems. Now the hole that's on top of the table is just in case it's going to be used as a flower pot. Now when I was done with this, I placed a mirror on top of it just to see what it's going to look like. I can see some space here, so I'm going to cover up that space with gems. Now because it's a table that may be converted into a vase, I'm not going to glue the mirror. I just put the mirror on top of it just to use it as a side table. And then once in a while it can be turned into a vase. So this is what it looks like as a side table. And this is what it looks like if you want to use it as a flower pot. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I have seen a lot of DIYs on showing how they use towels to make flower pots. But then I made my own version of it and then decided to turn it into a side table that will be perfect for a glam sunroom. You can customize the look the way you like, or you can leave it bare without all of the glam. It's all up to you. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a glam side table for a sunroom. And remember to like and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have all the videos linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.